biggest hairdressing exhibition. We're going to be here every day to bring you the highlights from the stands, live shows and seminars. Good, it was great. We were sold out, which is amazing for the you know people to get here so early. Yep. It's quite an early start. We've got a new collection, it's called Control. Mm -hmm. So the, the main body of ideas revolves around the ideas of discipline and structure, restraint. Um, so that doesn't mean to say that our shapes are very structured and restrained. It's just about the, the execution. Uh, it's trying to send a message about um, the way that we work. on the HJ stage today presenting the first ever HJ Men Live. We had an amazing lineup including Jodie Taylor who's a former men's hairdresser of the year, Edward Hemmings from Alan D who did some amazing educational work. We had some razor cutting courtesy of Dan Gregory from Melody and we kicked the show off today with Adam Reed from Percy and Reed. So a real mixture of different styles, different interpretations of men's hairdressing. All the shows were really, really well received. There was a really good crowd, which I think is just indicative of men's hairdressing at the moment and the interest in men's hairdressing. Um, that's something we recognised, HJ recognised, uh, three years ago when we launched HJ Men, and it now goes out quarterly, and it's, you know, it's getting a massive response from the industry. Primarily, we were inspired by a few things. Uh, New York in the late 70s, early 80s. After the collections we produced this year, um, we kind of thought we'd have some fun, we'd have something bright, we'd have something irreverent. Um, so we had five different sections in the show. We had the first presentation was called Black, which is kind of inspired by the Velvet Underground, Andy Warhol, the factory. And then for me, the most uh, poignant part of the show was um, having the five point to close it. Obviously, you know, we missed Fidel terribly and I wanted to do something that was a tribute to him. So. I tried to do my version of his iconic look, but um, yes, hopefully, hopefully he'd been pleased. <laughs>